Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me today? Perfectly. I can hear you okay. now. <laughs> now I can hear you perfect. I can, yeah, very good. You have good audio today. Hello, Herson. Hello, Aida. Jose Saias. Please remember if you do have your webcam, turn it on. Karen Flores connecting. Oh, there you go. Hi, Annalisa. Hi, good evening. All right, we have audio. Ana Rivas. Guzman, who is Guzman? Jose. Jose. Hey, Guzman. Right. Yeah, but, but I decided just to use my last name because they are a lot of Jose, right? Yeah, okay, you'll go for Guzman. All right, hey, that's, yeah. that's good, that's good, okay. All right. Nice. Yes, I remember we have three Jose's, right? Yeah, three or four. I, three I Jose's, remember. like three yeah. Annas, two Lisettes. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I never had a class. I've never had a class with so many similar names. Una vez tuve una clase que tuve dos Toribios. Well, can you imagine first that? That name Toribio, it's, it's not. Yeah. And two, it's two people common, in Toribio. Right? No, it's not common. It's an ugly name. <laughs> no, but imagine, but okay, Toribio, right? But two Toribios in one class. Yeah, one one Toribio is okay, but two is so much. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a big coincidence. Yeah. How was your day today, class? Everything good? Couldn't be better. Nice. Let me see, let's do that. Okay, we're going to start right now the um, the course. Can you excuse me one minute? I will be back, one minute. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, thank you, class. I'm back. All right. From out of space, just come here to see with a look upon your face. I should have left my lower. I will survive. All right. Um, 
I'm really sorry, pero lo voy a volver a repetir. Si tienen cámara, por favor, enciéndala. En serio, es insafor, pero es la forma que ellos toman asistencia. Really, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so let's start. Do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I can see teacher. All right, cool, let's start. Ooh, okay, Claudia. All right. So it says, part one, lesson objective. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about city with adverbs before adjectives are used. Dice, en esta clase escucharán una conversación sobre la ciudad donde se ocupan adverbios antes de adjetivos. Antes de empezar, ¿sabemos qué es un adverbio y un adjetivo? No mucho, teacher. All right, sí. good. Mm. I, I, I think that the, the adverb uh, is uh, complete, right? Okay, listen. Teacher. Yes? Algo que me presenta. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Maria Noemi? Teacher, the modifiers, the verb. Okay. So listen, we have slow, what is slow? Slow. Despacio. Is, is, y what is slowly? Des, despacio. Lentamente. Lentamente. Okay, so, uno es adjetivo y uno es adverbio. This is the difference, listen. Adjective. The turtle is slow. ¿Qué dije? Could you repeat? Thank you. The turtle is slow. The turtle, ninja turtles, hello, ninja turtles, turtle. La tortuga es lenta. Tortuga ninjas. Okay, good. So, the turtle is slow. La tortuga es lenta. La tortuga es lenta. Slow is describing the turtle, correct? Yes. So, an adjective <clears throat> describes a subject. Do you understand? Yes. San Miguel is hot. Adjective? Caliente. Oh. Hot. 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 hot is describing hot. San Miguel. Okay, now let's go back to the turtle. The turtle is slow. Now listen to this. The turtle walks slowly. La tortuga camina lentamente. Lentamente. ¿Qué está describiendo slowly? ¿A quién? A la tortuga. No. The verb. The way of the verb. verb. The verb. It's describing the verb. Oh, okay. Because okay. listen to this. Uh -huh. That's an adverb. So the slowly is describing walk, not the turtle. The turtle is slow. Yes, slow describes the turtle. Mm -hmm. Pero no podemos decir the turtle walks slow. No, 
is the turtle walks slowly. So what is the difference? A subject, this, I'm sorry, an, an adjective describes a person, a place, yes? And the adverb describes the action. For example, women drive terribly. Hey, come on, women. Where's the women power? <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. Actually, men, men drive terribly. Pero ahí, esa es la diferencia de terrible y terribly. Y si se ponen a pensar en la misma gramática en español, si algún día alguien les pregunta, ¿qué es la diferencia de terrible y terriblemente? Uno dice, no, es lo mismo. Ah, no, hoy ya saben. Imagínense cómo aprendiendo algo en inglés les ayuda a entender más el español. Por ejemplo, hoy sí entendemos, bueno, la comida estaba terrible. No podemos decir la comida estaba terriblemente. ¿Cuándo podemos decir terriblemente? Esa persona cocina terriblemente. Ah, ok, porque terriblemente describe la, el verbo. Terrible describe la persona. It's the same thing in English. Ok. Ok. So we understand now the difference. So let me see. Um, Jose Arturo, what is the diff what is the subject? I'm sorry. Ah, ya di la respuesta. What is an adjective? Um, please describe um, the thing. Describes what? The thing. Descri I'm sorry, I can't hear you. The subject describes? Um, describe the things. I'm sorry, class, can you hear? No, a little no. bit. I hear describes the fees. I go see, I go. The fees. I'm sorry, I can't, I, I, I don't understand. Uh, things, process. Things. things. Oh, okay, huh? things. Okay, good, I understand. No, it's not you, Jose. Maybe it's the audio, the um, the echo. Oh, the audio echo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but a subject describes. I'm sorry. An adjective describes a subject. Emma Fasi, because a subject is a person, a place, a thing. Very good. And Karen Flores, what is an adverb? The adverb describes adjective. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> no. The adjective describes an, um, the subject. What about the adverb? The adverb describes adjective. No. Hasta está la respuesta en el nombre. What does the adverb describe? And, uh, the verb. The verb, yes. The adverb describes the verb. My brother, he drives vastly, terribly, crazily. Teacher, can uh, I can say my brother is very thin. Yes. But thin is just an a verb. No, but thin is describing your brother. It's not describing a verb. <clears throat> okay. So thin is an adjective. It's not another verb. Okay. No, good question. Do you understand? Give me an example. Okay, um, Karen Flores, listen. The, the turtle. What are the of the tortuga? The turtle is slow or slowly? 
Uh, slowly. The turtle is slowly. Uh, slowly. Yes. It's slowly. La tortuga is no. lentamente. No. no. It's slow. Not it's slow. It's good. slow. Yeah, okay, good. The turtle is slow. Now, cuando estamos slowly, the turtle walks. This right verb. Slowly. Mm -hmm. So the turtle, now slowly is not describing the turtle. It's describing the action of the turtle. Thank you, teacher. No, you're welcome. Good. It's, thank you for asking mm -hmm. questions. So in, in, in this lesson, in lesson number one, it says, I will repeat, it says, in esta clase escucharán una conversación sobre una ciudad en donde se ocupan adverbios antes de adjetivos. Yes, so let's start. Conversation is a fairly big city. Pueden oír? No, teacher. Or a city. Or no, a teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, thank you. As soon as you listen to yeah, it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. All right, good. Personalmente, no hablaron de adverbios aquí, solo de adjectives. So I don't know, no sé por qué es eso al principio, pero por lo menos ya sabemos ustedes que es un adverb. Ok. Let me see. Hey, wait a minute. En esta clase escucharán una conversación sobre una ciudad donde ocupan los adverbios antes de adjetivos. ¿Qué es la diferencia aquí? O aprenderán el uso de adverbios antes de adjetivos. Ok, escuchemos el uso. Hi, in this video we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let us start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they are organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means 
more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is. Okay, class, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes. Yes, I can. Okay, yes, so I listen. Can. We have here extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, somewhat. What is somewhat? Un tanto. Yeah. Like the weather, the weather recently in San Salvador, I don't know in Santa Ana, Metapan or San Miguel, but the weather in San Salvador is somewhat cool, right? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. Tengo 18 personas y nadie dice yes, no, maybe, uh -huh, no, yes. can hear. Okay, so yes. somewhat is this, it's like, it's somewhat. The weather in San Salvador is somewhat cool, right? Yes. Ready? Yes. Yes, some are cool. No summer, no. I said somewhat. Somewhat. ¿Qué es somewhat? Un poco. Algo. Ah, un, algo tanto. Un, un tanto. So listen, somewhat y fairly es lo mismo. What is something, a restaurant, uh, we, Jose, Jose Carlos, you work in, in, um, in the restaurant, correct? Yes, sir. Is Entre Nubes expensive? Mm. Jose, wait, wait, tengamos en cuenta, we cannot compare Entre Nubes con la pupusería de la esquina. You can't. So, if you if you think of um, Entre Nubes, which is a nice restaurant, it's an ataco, it's a tourist attraction. But un plato de huevos, vale, I don't know, four or five dollars. Is the is o sea, some people say it's fairly reasonable because you. you're paying you're paying a, a good location. So, in your opinion. Jose Carlos um, is, yes, is what? Expensive. It's expensive? Yes. But do you think it's somewhat expensive, fairly expensive, really expensive, very expensive, or extremely expensive? Really? Really expensive? la orden, de más a menos. El menos sería somewhat. El tope sería extremely. Really expensive. Really? You think it's really expensive? Really or um, pretty expensive. Pretty okay. Expensive. You know, in my opinion, what is extremely expensive? Orchata in Mr. Donuts. <laughs> it's very, it's very good, but it's extremely expensive. It's almost, it's, I don't know, it's like yeah. three, three dollars for, for something. Very small. 
Oh, but, but it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to talk about, it, about El Salvador, about your city. Um, Aida, Lisette, where do you live? Okay, I live in Ciudad Merliot, Santa Tecla. Okay, and what about Ciudad Merliot? Is it, is it dangerous? Dangerous. I think Ciudad Merliot is... Um, um, in my opinion, fairly dangerous, maybe. Okay, good. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, le puedo dar vuelta a la moneda porque, like, for example, where I live, ahora, oigan bien, digo, donde vivo. Mm -hmm. So that means the zone where I live, I think is very safe. Mm -hmm. Es bien seguro, because it's only 20 houses and it's private. Yes. Okay. I mean, it, okay. it, remember, very, it can be for something negative or something positive. Um, who is the person from San Miguel? I forgot. Yesterday, there was somebody here from San Miguel. I Was it you, Jose? No, Jose, you're from Cabañas, right? Ochalatenango, La Palma. How is La Palma? Is La Palma hot? No, it's, it's very cold. Oh, that's cool, man. It's very cold. All right. Sometimes. Sometimes. It's rain now. Maria Noemi. Yes, it's What do you think about the cheese in this moment? Repeat, please. Okay. What do you think about the cheese, the queso, in this moment? Oh, si comí queso. No. Um, oh, usted hace las compras en su casa, no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Have you noticed something different in the cheese? Uh, uh, yes, I, but for a kilo de the cheese is a uh, uh, four dollar yeah the cheese in this moment is extremely expensive the cheese I, is extremely I you know diría, I know diría it's pretty expensive. It's very no man. It's extremely expensive because it's almost double. Extremely expensive. Yeah. yeah, because remember before it was like two dollars. Now it's like four dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Let me see. Um, hello, Annalisa Rivas. No. Uh, what do you think about the electricity in this moment? The electricity is um, really um, um, no sabría cómo decir es alto, pero en no decirlo power. Resalto el precio. Expensive. Igual expensive. Como uh, the, le oh. the electricity is uh, really expensive. Yeah. What about you, Karen Flores? What do you think about the water? The price? In this moment, I think uh, the water is pretty very expensive. Okay, good. You know, in my opinion, I think different. I don't know where I live. I think the water is extremely cheap. Barato. And it's not good 
because in my case, in my house, I have water 24 hours a day. And I only pay $4. What? Four dollars, yes. I don't I understand pay, why. I pay, I pay I pay normally four dollars a month, but I receive a water one day and one <laughs> day no. Yeah, and you know, and for example, my neighbors sometimes they water the street. Oh my god. Nunca voy a entender por qué riegan la calle. I don't know why. But I said can like 30 minutes. In my opinion, water in El Salvador should be extremely expensive. Para que la apreciemos. <laughs> yeah, Kobe. Yeah, but so, okay. Um, I pay $4. Do you pay a, a lot of money for water? Well, Guzman, in this case, he pays $4, but he doesn't receive water. Yeah, he has one day. Uh, how can I say that one day I receive it and the another one I not receive? Okay, so it's every other day. Yeah, that's that's every other day. But you know what happened in my case? Like when they made el, el, when they made El Hawar circle. Yeah. I live one block or two blocks from El Hawar circle. I don't know what happened, but after they made, we receive water every day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe they changed the the la pipa, the the las tubo, the, the... Yeah. So I'm gonna <laughs> request. I'm gonna request one water near to my house. <laughs> one circle. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know why. Maybe because they they I don't know the the. They need water, just an emergency or something. But after that, every day we receive water. <laughs> so it's cool. That's nice. Okay. Let me see. Miriam Cabezas, are you there? All right. Yes, I'm here. What do you think about the prices of pupusas now? Ah, <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> Uh, the price, uh, the pupusas now is extremely, uh, 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 extremely expensive. expensive. Yes. Good. Right now. Yes. I, I am angry. <laughs> well, you know, okay, not only pupusas, even food from comedores. Oh, yes. All, all uh, vegetable. Uh, are extremely expensive too. Yeah. yeah. Yes, because yeah, we. Do you know how to say comedor in English? Uh, restaurant. No, it's a no. diner. Diner. Ah, diner. Como okay. dinner con dos genes. Diner okay. con uno. One n. Usually in El Salvador, people that work, mm -hmm. we eat in diners. In diners. Where the plate okay. is two dollars two fifty. But now the plates are $3.75, Three, three $4. dollars. Uh -huh. So ironically, you go to Wendy's <laughs> mm -hmm. and the Cono Combo, you get the hamburger, french fries, and, and the soda for $1.99. Mm -hmm. or, or, you know, one pizza for $5, a, a complete oh. pizza. <laughs> ironically, o sea, eso hace 15 años nadie se lo iba a imaginar. Que es más barato comer comida chatarra gringa hoy que, que Salvadorian food. Before I ate uh, four pupusas, but now I ate, I eat two pupusas. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But you know what I don't like? I understand paying one dollar for one pupusa in a restaurant. Like, let's say. In Oloculta. Yes, but come on, the people that sell in the street. You know, the people that sell in the street, you know, like, and they sell the pupusas very expensive. It's like, oh, no. Yeah. Okay, um, Cesar Adonai, are you there? Yeah, teacher. 
What do you think about Scarlett Johansson? Scarlett Johansson? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> mm, I don't know. Did she uh, she <gasps> is the, uh, in, in Avengers, right? Yes. No. She, yeah, she's the Black know. Widow. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's beautiful, really beautiful. <laughs> okay. but, no, no, that's uh, good, that's good. She's pretty beautiful, she's really beautiful. For me, she's extremely beautiful. I love that woman. <laughs> it's like for women, women, you like, um, what's his name, Superman? Kavil. Uh, yeah. Henry Kavil. Henry Kavil, yes. yes. My wife loves that man. He's really but handsome. He is. He's he's very handsome. Yes, he's, he's very cool. handsome. But some women, but some women uh, say that, uh, and actually uh, uh, today that mm -hmm. the uh, Korean men are more beautiful. That oh uh, yes, right? Yeah, now women like Korean men. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a crazy world. Yeah. Um, Guzman. Yep. Do you live in La Campanera? Oh my God, no. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Why don't you want to live in La Campanera? <laughs> um, to really be honest, I know the, the houses there is very cheap right they're extremely but cheap extremely cheap why are they extremely cheap because it's uh, extremely dangerous <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> okay yeah because it's extremely dangerous yeah okay good um okay so you understand how how to use fairly yeah si va orden mira empieza con somewhat Fairly, pretty, really, very, and extremely. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Por ejemplo, el Madrid hace trampa extremadamente. Example, you know. You know, Real Madrid reciben extremadamente ayuda a los árbitros. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm, bueno, por lo visto no hay madrideños acá porque ya hubieran saltado. Hey, no, no. <laughs> you know what? In El Salvador, if you go to the stadium and Alianza versus FAS, it's extremely dangerous. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. That day yeah. is extremely dangerous. Don't get, don't go to, uh, don't go to the stadium. Or, we are not bad. I'm sorry? We are not bad. No, I mean, but, but the, the hate, the hate of, of the fanatics of, uh, yeah. is, is, yes, it's extremely, it's extremely mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. Bye, vamos a ver cómo venga la selecta. Uh, <laughs> Extremely I bad. I don't know because I dislike the football. The soccer yeah. is. You don't like soccer? Yeah, I dislike the soccer. So but, okay, no, it's okay. You don't like soccer, but but you know, La Selecta in El Salvador is extremely bad. Most people say that, so I, I, I think that this is correct, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, yes, it's true. <laughs> okay, so that's the difference. That's when you will use adverbs and adjectives. 
Can you tell me what is, uh, Ana Rivas, can you tell me what is an extremely expensive restaurant? Um, song, song what? Restaurant. No, tell me about an extremely expensive restaurant. No, not extremely. No, give me an example of an extremely expensive restaurant. Mm. Restaurant um, Blue. Restaurant Blue. Yeah. Okay. Where is that restaurant? I, I don't. And Tunco Beach. Oh, okay. It's extremely expensive? Yeah. All right. And one Mariscada 20 or 25. It's like it's like Ola Beto, Ola Beto, Ola Beto is extremely expensive. Um, how do you say también? Two, also. Two. Two. Okay, two. For me, an extremely expensive restaurant is Mr. Donut. Because saben que es comida casera, se dice homemade. Homemade. Really, um, for example, if I'm going to pay six or seven dollars for a typical breakfast, yeah. when in a mercado it's one dollar, but okay, so I will pay. But Mr. Donut really is not a fancy, it's not a <laughs> fancy restaurant. It's a normal and it's extremely expensive. Now I understand maybe Entre Nubes, which is a beautiful place, beautiful location, beautiful weather. Okay, seven. How much is a typical breakfast in Entre Nubes, Jose? Seven dollars? Or seven dollars. Okay, but imagine I prefer to pay $7 in Entre Nubes for a breakfast to $7 in Mr. Donut because the difference is. Teacher, yeah. then our difference could be um, knowledge you can eat for breakfast. For example, in what's the name, the restaurant there is in Carretera de Oro. Uh, La Bodega del Cerdito. Oh, yeah. 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 They have uh, all you can eat in the morning for breakfast? breakfast. Yeah. And it is for $7, I think. And it is all you can eat, right? Wow. So, pupusas, typical foods, and everything like that. Really? Coffee, um, orange juice, everything for $7. You know, that's a good idea. I will go there Sunday. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, hey, very good. Really nice. You see, you use an adverb and an adjective. Yeah. Chair, really? Yes. The Starbucks restaurant, extremely oh, yes. expensive it's... coffee, $8. $8, yes. But I, I, I but for the people uh, and working in in her in this place, so that's I I I I can't pay that for for working this in this place in the in the location of of Starbucks. I'm sorry, you work in in Starbucks? No, 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 no. For for example, I. I have a homework uh, with my classmates, so mm -hmm. uh, we go to the the Starbucks for do uh, the, the homework, right? Yes. And so I can't pay it. Uh, I don't know uh, three or four dollar for a coffee because yes. it is reasonable, right? It's true, and you know what? Um, that's true. I am a coffee fan. I love coffee, 
And for example, hoy si voy a hablar bien de Mr. Donut. The coffee in Mr. Donut is very good. The coffee in Pollo Campero is very good. The coffee in Las Gasolineras Uno, uno que ahí mismo lo muelen, is very good. And it's like 150, 190. And you go to Starbucks, it's eight dollars. No. <laughs> yeah, but that's a very good example. When I be un meme de conciencia que decía la situación, porque tomaron una foto de, porque hay en, en el Boulevard de los Próceres hay dos Starbucks enfrente de uno cada uno. Y decía, ayuden, la situación en mi país está tan, tan terrible que la gente está comprando hoy el café en Starbucks. Y le tomaron la foto y los dos topados. But Pero, teacher, it, it depends. I think that they, they have a day, the, um, there exists no. a promotion, two coffees for four or five dollars. No, no, yeah, I understand that, but, but you know, like the, the meme, it was true because it's like, how can people yeah. say, oh, the, the situation is terrible, it's terrible, and Starbucks okay. are full. Yes, <laughs> you know, that's true. Pollo Camperos are full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Que fra Me da risa eso. Me da un té chai, es chang. <laughs> Pero solo, deme un fresco chai, por favor. Oh, man, that's chang. <laughs> yes, okay. But, you know, in El Salvador, sometimes we're very ignorant. Sometimes. Uh, for example, Lano, uh, like, um, do you know um, Mauricio Funes? That man is extremely crazy. <laughs> Mauricio Funes, in this moment, he's crazy, man. He's extremely crazy. Good or bad, whatever, but he's, he's crazy. Yeah. He's tremendous crazy. ¿Cómo se llama eso? Um, I forgot the name. When you're like, uh, what is that called? Psychologically? Well, I'm not going to ask Schizophrenia? Question. Yes, it's like similar, something to schizophrenia, like. Que se siente seguro, pero al fondo sabe que no lo está. There's a word for that. Well, anyway. Well, every politician in El Salvador in this moment are extremely crazy. All right. Okay, let me see. Jose Jovito. Yes, teacher, I'm right here. What do you think about What do you think about um, the situation of COVID in El Salvador in this moment? In this moment, it's mommy is strong me. Very, very strong me. Okay, buen punto ahí. No podemos decir very, very extremely. After, okay. after the adverb, we need to say the adjective. So it's very dangerous, it's extremely dangerous, it's very bad, it's extremely bad. Is extremely dangerous. Excuse me? Is extremely dangerous yes. for the moment. In this, in, yes. In this moment, it's extremely dangerous. Do you think maybe we will have a second quarantine? Mm, is probably for the economic no, it's, a, it's very mm, no factible para la economía una cuarentena. No, of course, in, in, in ninguna, pero do you think, ah, pero creen que maybe there's a possibility of a second quarantine in El Salvador? I think that not. 
yo creo que si en este mes o en el otro no suben, because estamos esperando los resultados de Navidad, right? De la fiesta y if there is no in this month or next month, no va a haber. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I think quarantine is bad for children. He's okay. Cool. Yes. Okay, so. Plus I. I'm sorry? I think that the quarantine is bad for all. It's for all, yes. I remember, I remember one year ago in the quarantine, the first week, second week, I was happy. I was, for me, it was a vacation. Like, oh man, this is so cool. But then after one month, two months, it's like, oh my God, I was desperate. Okay, so let's do the knowledge check. Are you there? Do you see my screen? Yeah. So it says instructions. In this exercise, aparece unas preguntas para contestarlas. Deberán escoger la, la respuesta que mejor se apegue a la pregunta. Lea cuidadosamente toda la información. What? Yo creo, espérame. Quiero ver algo. What is soul like? Ooh. Is it an interesting place? I think it's Seoul, right? Korea, right? Una ciudad. It's a city. Yes. So what's Seoul like? Is it an interesting place? What do you think is the best answer? Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. Or <laughs> yes. It has amazing shopping and people are pretty friendly. Three options. This one? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it has amazing shopping. Okay. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? Not really, it's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Do you think that's the correct one? Yeah, option four, teacher. Okay, good. Yes. Por ejemplo, ¿quién es de Metapan acá? I remember somebody is from Metapan. Oh, well, anyways, many, many years ago, I went to Metapan for six months. And I remember it's very, very, very small. I don't know now, but before it was very small and boring. Yeah. But I liked it. I mean, it was that. The only thing is like Saturday and Sunday, it was like, no, 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 no había nada que hacer. Y nos íbamos a Santa Ana, y en Santa Ana todo el mundo se acuesta a las. Ocho, siete, ocho la noche. Yes or no, Jose? Yes, yes. Please. Aún. <laughs> yeah. I remember Santa Ana, um, I was driving at eight, mm -hmm. eight, everything close. I would like to live uh, in Santa um, Ana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. I would <laughs> like to live in Santa Ana. And around the Central Park, um, please. 24-7. Yes, it's true. I remember I used to drive and everything was closed. <laughs> now I want to live there. I like that, the quiet, the peace. Okay, number three, what's Sydney like? I'd never been there. That's oh, really? Oh, okay. It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. You think it's that? Yes, teacher. All right, cool. Yeah. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Yeah. 
I think is two the options. One. The second. Yes. yes, it would be the second one. Okay, so before we leave, uh, let me see. Mr. Cabañas, where are you? Jose Isaias. La Palma, I'm sorry, it's La Palma. Can you tell me what is La Palma like? Um, it's a good place to visit. Uh, the people is very friendly. Uh, and it's very cool. The weather is very cool. All right, good. Good, good for you. Um, Ana Francisca. Yes, teacher. Where do you live? I live in Santa Tecla. And what part of Santa Tecla? I live in, in Colonia Quesaltepec. Colonia what? Colonia Quesaltepec. Okay, Quesaltepec. What is what is your colonia like? Uh, I like the word. Um, no, but what is, how do you say colonia in English? Neighborhood. Ah, uh, just neighborhood. Yes. So what is your neighborhood like? Uh, my neighborhood, my neighborhood like um, the weather is very cold. Oh, really? Oh, nice, nice. Yes, and is, is um, um, safe. Um, it's very safe. Okay. Más o menos. Más o menos. How do you say más o menos? Ahí estaba. Ahí teníamos los ejemplos. Yes. Somewhat. Uh, somewhat. Uh -huh. Yes. Somewhat safe. Okay. Very good. Jose Arturo, what is uh, Santa Ana like? Um, the weather is changing. Uh, some days hot, some days cold, but um, in the night. It's cold ever. Okay, good. Uh, in the oh. summer, it's really hot. Okay. Who is from San Miguel? Okay, well, I remember in San Miguel, people are very. <laughs> or ex they, they extremely exaggerate with the weather because San Miguel, really, yo creo que si extremely el tope debe haber otro más. San Miguel is extremely, extremely hot. And I remember six in the morning, maybe it was the only time that it was not cold. No, jamás va a estar frío, yeah. But it was cool, fresco. It was nice. Yeah, it was like, ah, que si fuera siempre. Uh, six in the morning in San Miguel is like seven in the morning in San Salvador, you know, like. And I remember, <laughs> I remember at six in the morning in San Miguel, cuando me iba al trabajo, I see people walking in the street with sweaters. Con sweater y chumpa because eso era frío para ellos. It's like, I said, really, man? Oh my God. So they, yeah, extremely exaggerated, but but I love San Miguel. It's very it's your, it could be the same about the Acajutla right now. We can compare from, from San Miguel and Acajutla. Well, yeah, but 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 remember Acajutla because it's very near the beach. Yeah. San Miguel is the complete San Miguel. It's like, it's, así soy el calor, oigan. <laughs> really, when you open the door of the car or, or when you open the, the of your house, it's like, 
you feel the impact of, of, the, of the heat. It's very hot. Y aprendí que un migueleño no suda. Cuando vean a San Miguel, fíjense en eso, de que el migueleño, o sea, el, el, pues si ustedes van, van a tener toda la ropa pegada, toda. Y yo me acuerdo que me tocaba dar clases con corbata y todo, y todo pegado. Y mis compañeros de allá, normal. Y yo, ¿cómo? ¿Por qué no sudaba, man? <ríe> Y cuando encendí el aire, me decía, ¿le puedes bajar un poquito? Yo no encuentro el control. Yo lo escondía, man. <laughs> Because it was hot. <laughs> yes. Gerson, fue un gusto hablar contigo hoy. Teacher. Yes, María. Uh, the water is hot in the neighborhood Santa Rosa de Lima. Oh man, yes, it's very hot, Santa Rosa de Lima too. I remember I went to Calvo. Yes, teacher. That it's was next to San Miguel. Yes, where Salvador ends. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, teacher. Um, and I, I think in San Miguel, the the food, the Costo de vivir is very expensive compared to San Salvador. But I like it. It's nice. So, okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Can you use two adverbs in a one sentence? Can you give me an example? Um, maybe when can you say about San Miguel, you say is uh, very um, extreme, extremely hot. Yes, but you can say too, but using commas, you know, like, because I was actually exaggerating because I said San Miguel is very extremely too much, you know, you can say, but I'm, I'm, I am being exaggerating, but Grammatically, it's coma, you know, but I can't say San Miguel is very extremely hot. Okay. That's, that's a good question, but you can say San Miguel is very extremely hot, <laughs> but normally, no, it's the correct way is one adverb, one adjective, one adverb, one adjective. Okay. It's like close in Siman is very expensive. Yeah. A veces hasta por cólera entro solo por ver like a polo shirt. <laughs> like nothing. It's it's only white. The shirt is only white. No, no, no late nothing. $98. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just for $98 for this. Or a t-shirt, a normal shirt. Uh, $29. Oh my God. What the? Mm. <laughs> but I go to Buenas también. Like, I, I go to Simán because I buy my my, my colognes. Oh. Teacher. Yes. In Simán, uh, I, uh, I bought a computer, uh, but was uh, very uh, cheaper. Cheap. Cheap. Uh -huh. Very cheap. Yeah, sometimes it's, yes, but yes, but the clothes is very expensive. <laughs> like in Sara or, or Bershka, y, y, I don't know, todas esas tiendas, Forever 21. Oh, wow. Yes, um, it's very, very expensive. Hey, pero funciona porque están llenos siempre. <laughs> For example, what is the difference between Boston and La Neveria? Uh, La Neveria has two for one. Okay, yeah, so, but the difference is like Boston is very expensive and La Neveria is very cheap. Yeah. 
I yes. think uh, the quality and the taste. The quality and the taste. Uh -huh. And the price. And the price, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, cuando son novios, you go to Boston. When you're married, nevería. <laughs> That's the key, right? Yeah, that's why I will I, I will tell my son, okay, look, son. <laughs> Take your girlfriend to Pollo Campero. When you get married, you go to Don Pollo. <laughs> that's the narky. It's a good point. <laughs> Yeah, take uh, take your girlfriend to um, Dynasty Restaurant or Chinese Garden. But when you get married, take her to China Walk Los Jueves because it's two for one. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> Eso me dice mi esposa un día, ¿por qué solo me invitas los jueves? Ya estamos casados, man. ¿Qué quieres? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, no, but you know, it's it's very good. Uh, I like I like Chinese food. It's very very good. Do you like Chinese food? Yes, I like. Yeah. I, I, I no, I like don't. It. You don't I, like Chinese food? No, I don't. Food China one. No, no, no. If you like Chinese food, I recommend you a very, very good restaurant. It's called Palios Chinos. It's very good and it's very cheap. It's been baratos, but it's very, very good. It's by La Chulona. Oh, yes. yes. It's very, very good. I like it. Okay, class, I will see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow. Y antes, you. antes de irnos, le voy a enseñar una palabra del día. Yeah. Quizá ustedes ya la saben, pero saben de dónde viene o por qué se dice OK. No, teacher. No. Ah, hay muchas versiones, pero la, la más... Um, legit. Okay. Mayday, Mayday. Ya han oído Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Yes. Ya han oído Mayday, ¿no? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The movie. En salvadoreños es como, hey, cierra, cierra. Eh, <laughs> 10-4, 10-4. Okay, yeah. Son códigos. En la guerra civil. Se mandaban códigos. Entonces, si yo era el capitán en mi, no sé, yo estoy en Santa Tecla, yo era que mandaba a mi mensajero, anda, soy a Pango, y dale esta nota. Y yo ponía, How are you? Y ahí iba el mensajero. Se lo daba al capitán, y él ponía, We are okay, estamos okay. Primero se la nota es, OK es, Zero killed. Zero muertos en batalla. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, so that's where it comes. Like, so I say, hey, hey, Santa Tecla is okay. Soyapango is okay. Apopa is 100K or whatever. <laughs> Pero, el Salvador es ok. Yeah, entonces ahí quedó, like, ok, ok. Por eso, hey, are you ok? Yes, we're ok. We are, me empezó con we are ok. We are ok. We are zero killed. Cero muertos en batalla. La campanera da sin ok. Ojalá. <laughs> Campanera is all K, todo K. No. Ay, ahí quedó la palabra, ok, ok, ok. Hoy es tan famosa esa no. palabra que hasta en español la adoptamos ya. Sure. That's, that's nice. Too. Algunas personas pensaban que eso significa de acuerdo. Bueno, es que se fue haciendo eso con el tiempo. Eh, se fue haciendo eso con el tiempo porque venía de, hey, ¿cómo estás? Estamos 
ok, estamos cero muertos. Entonces, ok, terminó siendo algo positivo. Y como no siempre, how are you? I'm ok, I'm ok, I'm ok, estoy ok. Uh -huh. Estoy vivo o sea, todavía. <risas> ajá, o sea, originalmente significaba cero muertos, pero terminó siendo algo afirmativo, pues algo afirmativo y positivo como estoy bien, estoy de acuerdo. Hoy, hoy tiene todos significados positivos. Hoy significa sí, ok, estoy de acuerdo, ajá. Uh -huh. <risas> sí, es como, es como una palabra en español, la, la palabra a huevo. Eh, una vez estaba yendo y tuvo algo similar a ok, porque decían de que en la guerra de El Salvador, bueno, en la guerra cuando era acá, y mandaban a los soldados a, a las montañas. Y como ahí no podían decir, vaya, entonces cuando les toque el día libre pueden bajar, allá los mandaban un mes o dos meses o lo que sea. Entonces como ellos no podían cobrar sus cheques o algo así, les daban cupones. Y ellos podían bajar a una tienda, comprar sus cosas y darle esos cupones. Entonces los dueños de la tienda, me imagino, llevaban esos cupones a, algún, a alguna oficina del gobierno y se los reembolsaban en efectivo. Pero como era guerra y estaban hasta el quinto infierno, la gente solo tenía huevos. Entonces ahí quedó a puro huevo, vamos a comer, a puro huevo, a huevo, a huevo, a huevo. De ahí quedó la, hey, hey, a huevo vamos a comer, a puro huevo. Y hoy a huevo significa como, ok, sí, ajá, estoy de acuerdo. Sí, no, no. O Por la frente. fuerza. O hacerle ajá. frente, Ticho, como ajá, hacerle frente. Yeah. Pero también, Exacto. por ejemplo, ajá. cuando alguien le está contando algo a alguien y le dice, a huevo, le... o sea, también ajá. como... Estoy de acuerdo, a huevo. Ah, bueno, tenés razón. Ajá, entonces, <risa> con el tiempo se va evolucionando la, la palabra. Igual a ok, se fue evolucionando. Con... Y chair, yes. in English, in English uh, ¿cómo sería? <risa> esa, a huevo. Ajá. Sí, yeah. Así que ahí, ahí, va, ahí va, les voy a explicar, ahí va la diferencia de traducir y interpretar. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando es un caliche, el caliche es bien propio del idioma. Es Inclu como proper name, right? Ajá. Entonces no existe en inglés. Eh, teacher, y, yo por eso estaba... Eh, ajá. Yo por eso estaba viendo un video y dice, una, dice que cuando ellos se peleaban, se peleaban mejor en... O sea, ellos eh, vivían en otro país y hablaban inglés y es diferente idioma. Pero para, para pelearse se peleaban en español porque era mejor para insultar al otro. Sí, pero, en español son muy, pero, pero, pero incluso en, hasta en el mismo español tenemos bastantes eh, México tiene un gran caliche diferente al nuestro oh, al, yeah. de, por ejemplo uh, lo siento pero decir pendejo en, 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 en Argentina es como nosotros le decimos aquí a los niños monos hey mono vení <risa> ¿me entienden? entonces yeah. ajá en Argentina es like, no, no, es, no es mala palabra aquí sí lo es entonces y como es el caliche, el caliche es propio. Es no, para empezar, no es formal. Y si no es formal, no hay traducción. Pero hay interpretación. Hay, debe de haber otras palabras igual. Por eso es de que yo a veces les recomiendo a la gente, no vean películas con subtítulos. Porque la, las películas con subtítulos no están traduciendo, están interpretando. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. Oh, man. Y abajo ponen, oh, rayos. Y yo tuve un alumno que, ahí no dijo, oh, rayos, ahí dijo, oh, hombre. Yo sé, le digo, pero la expresión en inglés es así. Oh, man. Pero como eso no existe en español, en español decimos, rayos. Pero en inglés no van a decir, ah, oh, thunder. ¿Me entienden? Entonces, <risa> ah, entonces, esa es la diferencia de interpretar a traducir. Si, si se tradujera, la, fuera feo ver una película así. Entonces yo les digo, mejor, si para entender inglés, no vean subtítulos y mejor vean películas de niños. Como les dije ayer, vean Toy Story. 
Pero si quieren ver una película por entretenimiento, sí, veanla con subtítulos, pero tengan en mente que no va a estar bien traducido lo que, lo que ustedes entendieron a lo que están leyendo. Por eso no han visto que hoy dice, lo veo que está en Netflix, creo que ponen español latino o español de España. Han visto. Ya, yeah, ya yeah. yeah, imagínense hasta qué grado hemos llegado que hay. Bueno, incluso cuando uno baja un software en su teléfono, ponen español Salvador, español latino, español España o español Estados Unidos. Man, cuántos españoles hay. It's me and, uh, uh, for example, when I try to install the new operating system on the computer, yes, that is yes. español from every each country in America, right? Yes, that's true. So, uh huh. Pero, uh, I, there are some things. Hay una cosa que cuando tengan tiempo, lean lo se llama Guanaco English. Man, eso es súper, súper chistoso porque para empezar es un chiste, pero lo hacen bien, bien hecho porque ponen a huevada y lo ponen la explicación en inglés como que si es un diccionario. Por ejemplo, a huevada is a situation of embarrassment. Example. Kevin, que huevada you had yesterday. <laughs> es súper, súper chistoso. Incluso yo ando buscando en la, libra, en la librería, dicen que están vendiendo. Yo porque lo vi en Facebook, vi, vi el gran listado, pero me gustaría tener el libro. Que... Solo palabras salvadoreñas, pero con traducción en inglés. Y el ejemplo es más chistoso porque usan nombres bien gringos. Por ejemplo, Timothy. A huevo, you were late yesterday. <laughs> Vean, lo super chistoso. Okay, so, bye class, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye, bye, teacher. Good night, teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.